sneak point chart and to show you exactly uh, what we're looking at in terms of the vantage point indicators that can help us determine at what point we're going to take some action. First one I'm going to add is going to be the predicted medium term moving average. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a typical price. It is a indicator that, uh, you know, not too unusual for the typical moving average type of strategy where you trade uh, on the basis of several things. The first thing that we're looking at when we trade uh, is going to be, of course, the angle and the direction of those moving averages. But I'm going to add a couple of other indicators here on this six-month chart so that we can uh, get a few more clues, a few more insights as to what is going on. And we're going to add the uh, predicted medium-term difference and the predicted long-term difference. Uh, those are on the bottom of the chart that you'll see here. And to discuss what we're going to do with those, we're going to, uh, again, go over to our other chart. We're going to uh, kind of mark them up a little bit and tell, see what they tell us when we're looking at uh, these particular indicators and why they could potentially be useful in your trading. Uh, as I mentioned, the predicted moving average, first of all, we're looking at you know the angle. The angle of the moving average, in this case, moving up. The blue line is the predicted medium term moving average. The black line is the actual simple moving average. And it is a comparison of those two uh, you know, moving averages which provide some crossover types of signals. The angle of the line is one important factor. Uh, the crossover then is another important factor at what point you're going to be able to take some action. When that line does cross over, leads to a direction, a new trend, there will be some times, as there are here, where there will be little gyrations that don't exactly follow your, your script, maybe, that you're looking for. Uh, but there is you know, that type of thing that is, exists in all types of trading. Predicted moving average. Uh, that particular moving average type of thing, moving above the actual moving average, is uh, you know, not an unfamiliar concept to most people who follow moving averages at all. Uh, the thing that might be a little different, that is, uh, you might not see in other software, you might not be used to, is on the bottom uh, part of the screen where we talk about the predicted differences. The differences, in general, are the difference between a predicted moving average and the actual moving average. The blue line is a comparison of two medium-term moving averages. The green line is two longer-term moving averages. They are more or less, I would say, if, if you're looking for the general description of what they are, a momentum indicator. They detect the underlying momentum and provide some early alerts as to what potentially could happen uh, in the market as it moves ahead. Uh, you'll see that we have a situation right here where the blue line crosses above the green line. And that is typically an early alert that there's going to be some type of a change in the price above. Uh, you can see that that leads the turn here, the crossover in the actual or the predicted moving average above the actual moving average. So it's an early alert that something could be happening in the market underlying what has been going on in the market overall. You'll see here that we have a turn to the downside. The blue line crosses below the green line. All that really means is that the the biggest thrust, you know, the, the all the, the the most of the vim and the vigor has gone out of the early thrust in this move and that the strength is not as strong as it once was in the medium-term moving average versus the long-term moving average, which continues on up for a little while. Uh, you have a situation then where the market, the, move, the differences start to move down, uh, uh, again, pretty much in line with what is going on in the prices up above. It's kind of an early alert as to what uh, potential could happen. Uh, a couple of other things about the predicted differences, uh, you know, you can see that as long as it is, you know, the trend in this particular case here is what you would have to say would be gently up. Uh, the trend in this particular case is gently down, but it is above this line right here, the gray line right here, that is the zero line. The zero line is uh, kind of the demarcation between a market that is, or a trend that is showing some strength or a trend that is starting to weaken. And you can see where there are some gyrations above and below the zero line that reflect the strength or weakness of a trend. Most recently, we've had a situation, of course, where we had the, the downturn in the predicted differences and in uh, predicted moving average. And now it has come back. Uh, 
uh, we have a turn up in the predicted differences and the predicted moving average is above the actual moving average uh, as of the close on yesterday which is you know, will that last you know is that the is that the clue we're looking for uh, you know time will tell whether that's an, an actual thing I mentioned again just to reinforce the fact we have these dojis a couple of dojis here good type of Candles to watch. If you're not a candle watcher, it's important, I think, to watch the dojis. Not so much for the dojis, but two things. One, where are they in the formation and in what, uh, you know, start, where do they occur if they occur after an extended move? And then secondly, what happens on that candle or two candles after the doji, which provides a clue as to what potentially could happen with the market uh, going forward. Uh, I'll go back now to our, our uh, Vantage point screen and show you uh, a situations where you know we have some uh, general ideas now where prices are going based upon what we have seen here and what the uh, other indicators tell us the predicted differences the predicted moving averages and so forth but what now we would like to have something that gives us a little bit more precise type of a price indication and we're going to do that by going to another vantage point indicator called the predicted next day high and predicted next day low now these uh, will add this will add a couple of lines onto the chart don't want to make it too confusing but I think it's kind of important to see all these things together we'll discuss uh, a little bit we won't be able to go into detail on it but the predicted next day high is that gold line or that orange line that you see there the predicted next day low is that uh, pink line I guess some people might call it a fuchsia line uh, that you see there that kind of goes along the bottom side of the price action together those two form a predicted price range for the next day and that predicted price range is the channel that we're talking about when we're talking about breakouts and whether we're going to be able to uh, trade a breakout or not trade a breakout depending upon uh, you know how we read the channel action um, just kind of to set up you know a strategy or a, a plan of action uh, we will assume that in this particular case we are working with a $50,000 account uh, in every trade we do not want to risk more than 3% of that account so we're not going to risk more than $1,500 on every trade now we're not talking here about the minimum margins because like a full-size contract is you know like a 5,000 or a little bit more uh, for the full-size crude oil contract the mini crude oil contract is like $2,500. So we're not talking about necessarily how much margin is committed, but we're talking here about how much risk we're willing to take on a particular position. What we're going to do to set up a strategy, a trading strategy, is to uh, be in a situation where we will buy $1 above the predicted high or sell $1 below the predicted low. And that, again, assumes that a couple of things are occurring. One is that we have the predicted differences that we talked about having, uh, you know, given a signal here and that, uh, you know, we could have a turn up. Uh, we also want to note, I should have mentioned that earlier, we have the predicted neural index, uh, which is a reading of either one, which is bullish, which means uh, price in three days, should, typical price in three days should be higher than it is, t in two days should be higher than it is today. It compares two three-day moving averages and makes it forecast.